Hey guys. Hey, welcome back to the Transport Bandit Channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff, and welcome to Amish Country. We have delivered Al safely to his home on the last video, all the way back from Alaska, over 4,300 miles, something yeah. like that. And now we're just going to hang out here a few days. And enjoy the Amish. And enjoy some good food and some rest. Yep. We're going to get to ride around. It's a beautiful day. It's like really hot outside. We're going to start our day exploring Amish country at Pizza City, one of our favorite places in Strasburg, Pennsylvania, New York uh, style pizza. It is my favorite pizza restaurant up here. It is. And then we're going to go to Shady Maple tomorrow. Tomorrow, Shady Maple Smorgasbord. Stay tuned to see what the most amazing buffet in the entire United States looks like. It's going like. to blow your mind. It's crazy. And we're going to ride around. We're going to get to see some Amish stuff. We don't know what we'll get into. Yeah. But we're in Amish country in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And we're going to start the day off here at Pizza City in Let's Strasburg. Go. Let's go. There it is. Really good stuff there. Yum. Excited? I'm so excited. There we have. We haven't had this pizza in several years, and it's some good stuff right there. Pizza City in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Here is the Sight and Sound Theater. We have been there. That is a fantastic theater to go to. Has live animals when they do the um, uh, Christmas story and the production of Noah, which is fantastic with live camels and everything. There's a lot of great antique stores here. This is the Amish village, a working Amish farm where you can learn all about the Amish heritage and culture. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous farms here. Having lived here amongst the Amish community for so many years, Al was able to tell us all kinds of stories and learn about the Amish culture and they were fascinating. I love it. is the hotel that we will be staying at number one hotel in all of Lancaster County we'll be staying right here where they have the Amish experience um, a theater uh, to educate explore and enlighten me about the Amish culture this is the Amish view Inn and suites Okay, we're on our way to Al's house now and to meet his family and to see his farm. Now seeing that today is Sunday, uh, a lot of things are closed today so we will pick up and do a lot of this really fun stuff tomorrow. He's got a pond. There's Al. Right there, mowing the grass. Hey Al, good morning. We're here back with Al. Good morning. And good we. Morning are on his farm we're going to take a look around i'm going to show you al's farm and there's the truck and we got him home there's the truck right there and this is the spare truck super duty the spare truck no this is the one al's given me for breaking <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is a beautiful home look at all the pretty things this is Al's mom, Shirley, Hi. Hello. and we are going to look at this gorgeous home and farm and take you on a tour. Take a look at this magnificent work of art. This is a grandfather clock that Al's father made. What year was it? 1974. 1974. Look how beautiful that is. The plate down the bottom. Yeah. Let's start here. Handcrafted by Robert Robertson, 1974. Wow, look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're going into the old part of the house now, and we are going to meet Roscoe. Go. Let's meet Roscoe. Oh, look, he's bringing a toy. Oh, hey, Roscoe. Look at the bread warmers. And then that was the window of the original house. Window was here of the original house. Well, uh, Cheryl showed you the barn stuff. Now you come for me to see the great stuff. The barn. <laughs> the barn. <laughs> Let's check out the barn. Here it is. Now this was a dairy farm. This was this was never an Amish farm. This was never an Amish farm. This was a dairy farm. Look at the all the tools. Oh, uh, this is like a barn heaven. This is how I like to see a barn. I don't know if you guys, you know, we're not neat clean freaks, but this is where the character comes in. Being an artist, and we do paintings of barns and sheds and stuff like that, you want to see all this stuff. You know, this stuff that it shows that it was used by a family for long periods of time. It's been in our family for 40 years. We've had this barn for 40 years in the family. Wow. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's a deer. That's mine. That's, I bought new in 2000. Yep. And it was completely redone um, about two years ago. Jeff has tractor envy. He has a die on it. Yep. Uh, barn, which is, uh, or the new barn, I should say, um, had. Oh, look at the stalls. They had staunchings for cows. So you could put the cow in and had a trough. And then, you know, that, and that's how he would milk the cows. So when we moved here and 40 years ago, we tore all the cow stuff out and built stalls. And my mother and my sister had horses. And I've heard that your mother had Arabian horse. Arabian horses, yes. Had, somebody else rode it, but it won so many it trophies and won. ribbons. Very, very active horse. And just two years ago, that horse uh, finally passed away. Oh. So um, uh, that was mom's pride uh, and was trained very well. And it was number one in everything it touched. Oh, wow. It, it, they, she, the girl who rode it um, was uh, like the Saj, the Saj or whatever it is, uh, English saddles mm. and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, English. And um, it was very, you know, the jumping and stuff like that. They, she was all over the East Coast with that horse. Awesome. Look what's over my head. <laughs> Wait till we get look, to the top of the bus. Look at that. All the way up in the hayloft. Let's check it out. What is this? Like a feed cart or a hay cart. Um, when we purchased the farm, they had a sale uh, to sell everything on the farm. And we were at the sale and my father bought quite a few items here on the farm uh, before we actually moved in. And this is one of the things that they bought. We use it for hay for the horses. And yeah, stuff like that. cool. The name of their farm. See Robinson, his, his name is Al Edward Robinson. His mom is Shirley, and his father was Robert. So, during, we always had a sign at the end of the lane, and the sign had blown down one time and got broke. My son, my youngest, my oldest son, he wanted that sign to get back up. So he went to a sign place and made up this, established in 1986, or 1976 is when we moved here. My father was then deceased. So we put it in memory of my dad. Joy was the owner at the time. My mom was the owner of the farm. And Tyler made this up for my mom to put this sign back out the end of the road. How fantastic. Yeah. That was thoughtful of him. And then through the few years that it's been hanging there, it got messed up on the, as you can see. I think it gives it character. Yeah. You know? So we're going to try to get that thing back up, but we're going to do it in a different way. Or you can sell it to American Pictures. Sell to American pickers need to come here. They would, they would love the back, the back story on it. Yep, the back, it's all about the back story. What's this, Al? 
This is the top of the barn. This is where we're. I usually rent a lot of places, lots, a lot of this out right now, and they'll fill this barn up with hay and straw. So this will be filled up with hay and straw because he rents this out to store hay and straw. But right now, look at this big, beautiful bad boy. Very similar to ours, just a little bit bigger. Is that right? This is a 44 horsepower four wheel drive. Um, then I have the 72 inch bush hog lower deck. That goes on this. Look at these birdhouses. His father made those birdhouses. What's this? What's this uh, building here? This was the uh, my dad. Well, actually, it was a chick it was a chicken coop when it was a working farm. We dad shifted it over and made it his shop, his workshop. He had woodworking and metalworking, and then dad passed away 2007. And um, uh, so it's been kind of in decline since then. We moved here and my son moved here. So now it's my son's shop for his race car. Awesome. Whoa, wait a minute. You said race car? Yep. Race car? Oh, oh no. He's got his Mustang with him. Oh no. He just got back yesterday from West Virginia and he was at a drag race. He likes to do drag races. Yeah. Uh, he had his Mustang. And um, on his trailer, this morning when we got home, I noticed that he was home. Um, and apparently he has his car with him. But I will show him his Fox Body Mustang. All right. This let's is his big toy, his toy that he really enjoys working on. Awesome. Let's go take a look. All right. Let's take a look at the Fox Body. He ran it, he ran it last year and ran some good numbers and uh, decided that he wanted to uh, make it faster. So we put a roll bar and a parachute and sent the motor out to get a good bit of work done on that. It is turboed, it's flown, or it has a turbo on it. And uh, I'm hoping that he's gonna have it together here before too long and run it at the track. So he's excited to get it done, I'm sure. That's cool. He's gonna run it at the track as soon as he gets it all back together. And he's a, he's at a race today. No, he was at a race yesterday. Race yesterday. And um, did he do it good? Did he uh, do okay? He did. He did very well. He was very pleased with himself. Awesome. So uh, um, he's really anxious to get this thing going. He does have it that he wants to get the, the motor done at a regular machine shop and have it top notch for this next for this year. So as you can see, don't tread on it. <laughs> the parachute yep. okay let's take a look at the parachute this is a nine second car tell the viewers what that means well it wants to break a certain number of the track and it could be have a little cage and a parachute according to what i understand and he's hoping to have this car at or lower than that number whatever i, I think it's nine seconds but i'm not 100 percent sure Look at all this this pasture land back here that, that was the original farm that's the original farm which is not mine but that is barley so that'll all head it's starting to head now put heads on it and grain on it and it'll turn yellow and then they'll come in and take that off and then that straw will end up in that barn awesome uh, from, that line so up. from there through its whole life cycle the to, lines, to there, there. You have a one and a half year old. I have a grandson. And this is and their toy box. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is Stack awesome. Look at there. Go, muscle man. Jeff is working out. Is it, is it heavy? What's it? What does that weigh? <laughs> hey, you know. hey, Jeff. Hey. Did, did, did you forget this? <laughs> did, did you forget this? Huh? <laughs> now we work with this. Okay, we just had an awesome afternoon at Al's farm. We met his family, met his puppies. 
met Jamie and Tyler and Cash and Miss Shirley, his mom, and Bobby, his brother. It's they, they welcomed us like family. It's been a great day. Um, we're going to continue our reset here in Amish land in the morning. We are headed to Amish View Inn, which is um, a fantastic place. It looks like that's where we're going to be held up for the night. And I'll show you that in just a moment. We're going to check into the Amish View Inn and Suites, and then we're going to go into town and get us something to eat. This is a very pretty little place. Thank you, Al Robinson, for putting us up here. We'll check out the room here in a little bit. We're going to check in, and we'll see you in a minute. We're here at Amish View Inn and Suites. Man, it's pouring outside. Pouring Cheryl rain. made me walk at least a half a mile in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I brought her up here to the door and dropped her off here in a nice, dry hotel. I had to go out in the wilderness and park. <laughs> this sure is a nice place. Uh, thank you, Al, for uh, uh, treating us to this beautiful place. Let's go find our room. Yeah, let's go find our room. Hey, here we are. Nice, nice hallway. All right, let's check it out. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. This is so pretty. Uh oh. Beautiful. Uh oh. Get ready, Jeff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look what we have. We have a hot tub. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Alan. We'll see what the view looks like in the morning. This is an awesome room. Look how pretty it is. All right, Alan, listen. Thank you, Alan. This is the nicest room I think me and Cheryl may have ever stayed in. This is gorgeous. This is how I expected to be treated. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. All right, good night. We're going to hit that hot tub. You've lived, you've lived up to my expectations. This is awesome. It's awesome. Thank you, Alan. I know there's water filling up that might be in the background. What do you think about this, Jeff? This is amazing. I think this is the nicest hotel that I've ever stayed in. I think so too. It's gorgeous. We can't even see the view. Now this is Amish view, so we are waiting for that surprise in the morning. Check out this beautiful bed. Gorgeous appointed furniture, that leather couch. It is so pretty. There's the TV. Oh, it's a big room. And we got robes. Look at that, robes. Where do we ever stay at that we can actually have a robe? All right, you ready to hot tub it? I am. Okay. Well. I am in bandit heaven. <laughs> yeah, I can't thank you enough. And I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart. This is incredible. And since you have treated me in a manner that a bandit should be treated, I'm letting you off the hook. You are no longer my manservant. You are a free man. <laughs> Okay, good morning, Jeff. Good morning. And as I promised, this place is called Amish View Inn and Suites. And this is our Amish View. Okay, if you could see the beautiful Amish farm that we can look out from our hotel window. Let me zoom in there for you. There's an Amish person walking in the field right now. So, the hotel's living up to its name, Amish View. We are viewing Amish right now. Okay, let's go out and explore today. Remember, we are going to Shady Maple this evening, and we're going to show that to you on the video. We're going to explore a little bit around the Amish country. Al is going to take us out and explore around. So, we've got a big day ahead of us. Let's go. Good morning. We're at the Amish View Inn and Suites. 
And this is one incredible breakfast that they offer in the morning, complimentary breakfast. Let's take a look at it because it may be the nicest breakfast of any hotel we have ever stayed in. Let's take a look. You need to come check this out. This is a great breakfast, all right? Me being a hero now, this is how heroes should be recorded and treated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at this. So we start off like we have the coffee area and some drinks there, green teas. Cappuccino is right here, the cappuccino machine. And this, open that up, look at that. Sticky buns and cinnamon rolls baked from scratch from Miller's Bakery. This is all locally made food and farm and bakery. Sausages and meat. Plain bread, white bread. Raisin bread, bagel. bagels. We got, this, we got this bread with fruit in it that Cheryl likes. <laughs> okay, and then you can go in here. You'll pick up your silverware and your plate. There's a chef behind there which is like making things on order as you order them right there. And what do you have in there, Jeff? We've got the stuff he's already got made, if you're in a hurry. We've got eggs, which were excellent. Scrambled eggs. We've got all the stuff here, bacon, potatoes, all that kind of stuff. But one thing I found... Wait, what's in this one? This is potatoes. There's your pot breakfast potatoes. I found this interesting. What? What is that? Locally made sausage. Look at there, locally made sausage. And that sausage is delicious. It is. Mild. Tomato sauce and scrambled eggs. What? I didn't have that. And um, what do we have there? Bread pudding. Look at this bread pudding. This was to die for. This oh, yeah, bread, bread pudding is really good. Got bacon. Bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. Then we're back around the front, and we got this guy here who's um, making this stuff here on the spot. Now, right here, it says that it's today at Amish View. This is locally sourced. You see where the sausage and yogurt comes from. Uh, the Turkey Hill milk product, cinnamon and sticky buns are from Miller's. Um, you can. T I'll take a tour of those places as well. This is where they'll make you the crepes. They will personally handmade you fur hoodland, meaning confused or mixed up. That's eggs scrambled with ham, green, and red peppers, onions, and house-made potatoes. Eggs any way you want it, omelets. Uh, Belgian waffles. Or Belgian waffles right here behind the glass. And then uh, as you come over here, you have your orange juice and your cereals and you have milk and you have all the condiments you could ever want to put into oatmeal or your cereal and here they have strawberry topping it looks delicious if i just had something i wanted to top with strawberries i would utilize that well i think you could come up with that all right let's go check out of Amish view today and go take a tour of the Amish land. See those horses in that barn? How pretty is that? This is where Amish view Inn and Suites is located. And this is um, buggy rides right here where you can take a buggy ride. Okay, so we just went and got our oil changed with Rotella T65W40. They had it at Pit Stop, Quick Stop here in Lancaster. And after that big trip to Alaska, we need that done as soon as possible. You know, I think it's awesome that you know the type, brand, name, and weight of the oil. Just because I'm blonde and a girl doesn't mean I don't know my oil. I know that. I didn't say that. What are you, woke? I didn't say that. I am very awake. I said, I think it's awesome that you know the type and weight of our oil. 
There's another oil. type and weight of our oil. A lot of guys don't know that. Of course, they all know that. No, That's they don't. common knowledge, right? I've talked to If guys. you're a transporter no, and don't good. know what type of oil you use, then you need to know. Listen. Well, I'll just say that. <laughs> listen, I've talked to dudes that don't know what weight oil they use. You know, they say, I don't know, I'll pull it in there and they change it. We have been on the hunt for Rotella T65W40 for the entire year. So when and they have it. We're going to continue the hunt. Yeah. That is the best oil that, and for our particular truck. I don't know what you guys might use, but that's what we use. And, uh. The, sure, there's other good oil out there. Yeah, it's, like, it's almost impossible to find in the stores. Hey, Jeff, you ready to go do some more Amishy stuff? I am. I'm going to quiz the Amish today. We're going to quiz the Amish. I want to ask them if they know what top oil the truck takes. <laughs> I'm sure they do not. <laughs> you know, I can ask them what top oil their truck takes. And, you know, it's, it's hay. Usually, it's usually hay or barley or corn. Or <laughs> some kind of feed. There's some beautiful barns here. We're headed to the Kitchen Kettle Village next. I'm a little horse. If you, uh, you're not horse, a cow, really. Look at me. So, uh, I might say I'm a little cow. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go to the kitchen ghetto village. Let's go to one of our favorite places in Kitchen Kettle Village, the Jam and Relish Kitchen. But before we go in the Jam and Relish place, I found a new place I want to check out. What's the new place? Aged and Cured Cheese and Meat Shop. <laughs> Okay, since I got Jeff out of the meat and cheese store, now let's go into the jam and relishes store. Hey, I like jam. Before COVID, you used to could walk all the way through here and they would have samples and little crackers and you could sample all the different types of jellies and relishes. And since COVID that happened, you know, that sampling thing, that's just, that's over and done with. So that's a shame. But you can still ask for samples here at the counter. What are you sampling? Blueberry vanilla. Blueberry vanilla. Is it a jam or a jelly? That's perfect. Jam. Jam. What are you trying now? He's trying apple raspberry. Apple raspberry. Hopefully this will be the one I like, my favorite one. Blueberry vanilla, as good as it was, not for me. You like yeah. that one? That's the one. Now which one was that? Apple raspberry. That's apple raspberry. We have a winner winner we chicken dinner. And a little jar of 10 ounces run about $4.99 to $5.99. It depends on the flavor. If you'll notice, there's all different prices for different flavors. A big jar of 20 ounces only $7.99. There's your deal right there. And you can get like sample boxes. So you can fill up and pick out your own box and fill up your box there so that they're already wrapped and ready to give as a gift. If you want to try even more samples, you can get just the little baby jars 
and make yourself a box of little baby jars. Yeah. All right, what did we get, Jeff? Well, of course, we got the apple raspberry jelly. I got two of them because they're just fantastic. And the strawberry preserves, and you got the four berry jam. Yum, yum. Okay, so I've been trying all these pickles. And the first pickle was the best one. But you don't know which one she gave you? No, and she doesn't know which one she gave you. It's a mystery pickle. <laughs> all right. We so think we're trying to figure it out. Trying to maybe try the bread and butter pickle? Maybe. I'll try the bread and butter pickle. No, that still doesn't look like the first one she gave me. This is the bread and butter pickle. No. Not it. Alright, now this is a sweet dill pickle. I think I had this first and I like it. We'll see. No. no. That's not for you either. So the sweet pickle will be the way I go. But she gave me a pickle to begin with, the first pickle. I can't figure out which one it was. This is a really good pickle. Supposedly this is the perfect pickle. The perfect pickle. Yeah, now I've tried the sweet deal, which is really good. It would be great in like egg salad and potato salad, stuff like that. Then I tried the sweet pickle. It's super sweet. It'd be great with jelly. <laughs> All right, try the perfect pickle. Here comes the perfect pickle. No. No? No. It's not the perfect pickle? Not for you? No. <laughs> no. 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 No, it's not the perfect pickle. Okay, is this coconut macaroons? Yes, it is. Look at this. Uh -uh. Okay, how's your coconut macaron? Hands down, the best one I ever had. The best one you ever had? Hands down. Uh, All right, he's gonna, Jeff's gonna sit out here and eat his coconut macaron outside the kitchen kettle village. Such an awesome, fun little place to come if you're in here in intercourse. This is one of the stops, is, this is almost like a must stop. Did I say Pigeon Forge? Did I say Pigeon Forge or intercourse? I said Intercourse, even though we live near Pigeon Forge, that's easy to make a mistake, but this is Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Alright, this bag is heavy. We filled it up at Kitchen Kettle Village. So I'm going back to the truck now. Okay, Lancaster County is known for its covered bridges. You want to see a few covered bridges? They're beautiful. Let's take a look. This is the Dutch Haven Shoe Fly Plies. And diesel right now in Lancaster County. Get this, $6.49. $6.49 for a gallon of diesel. Okay, the first covered bridge that we have is Eshelman's Mill Covered Bridge. Here we go. That was fun. Okay, the next covered bridge is this one right off of Highway 30, right there. Dutch Wonderland Amusement Park is coming up. We are headed to the Lime Valley Covered Bridge. We are just uh, coming into Lampeter, the village of Lampeter. Okay, we're coming up on the Lime Valley Covered Bridge. Here we go. Very similar to Eshelman's Mill Covered Bridge.
This is Kurtz's Mill Covered Bridge. So pretty. I'm walking across the bridge now. This is cool. Beautiful little covered bridge. Okay, that was Kurtz's Mill Covered Bridge. We are headed back to Owl's Farm. If you watched the last video, you know that we brought Al all the way back from Anchorage, Alaska. We are headed back to the farm, and then we're going to, who knows what we're going to do. We're going to do some fun stuff, some bandity stuff, and then we're going to take you to Shady Maple Smorgasbord. Hey puppy dog. Look at the puppy dog. And we have permission to take these photos. Just in case you're wondering, we do have permission to take these photos. And this is how the milking machine works, right here, with the bucket, and it goes up, up this way, and all the way back this way, and this goes into that room in there. And see, the hose we were just following comes in here and goes into here. And that's how we get the milk. It's churning the milk. Now what process is it doing to the milk right now? It, it stirs it to pour it down. Okay. Because it's warm if it comes from the cow. Right. And you need to get it cold as soon as you can. I see. And as it agitates, it gets then, cold. Then it's going to come in out at that hose. See that hose in there? And then it'll drop just soon. And that just came from a cow? Yeah. Awesome. And there's the line again. And what is this little thing right here? So that's where the hose is. And that, you see it filling up now? Yeah. Once it gets full, that's when it drops. I love Mr. Dimples. Oh, I love it. Good. good job, Mr. Dimples. My mom is going to go crazy. Look at that. That is beautiful. Can I film your room? This is Olivia's room. And she has a beautiful little picture right there. And so look at the doves, they're so pretty. And I'll bet, does this light up? That's beautiful. This bedroom. This is where they dry tea. Oh, that's wild. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what was standing right behind me? Oh my gosh, look at that, that's yes. crazy. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, ah. With, with my horse injuries, mm -hmm. it would be a good thing to soak these a little bit and put B&W on, that's a side, and then put this on, it's, it's very healing. So this is a healing type yeah. of plant and yeah. it's called a burlock, burlock leaf. leaf. It's, it, you have to know what you're picking. Because it would look like a normal everyday leaf to like you and me guys yes, if you're would, watching that. But um, to her it doesn't anymore. Um, beans they have woods here and they can, that she found it out there and now she's drying it. Um, now these would be the freshest leaves and yeah. then as you work your way over. Yeah. These, are the, in, these are the older ones that she picked because they're drying. All right, this is the dash inside one of the Amish buggies. The windows here. We have a little shelf system up top. And then you have the little seat in the back there. Pretty neat. Okay, here's the back side of a buggy inside.
Okay, so we have just had an amazing time. Al has been, let us go over and visit with his Amish friends, and they were amazing. Yeah, still are amazing. They're with us. We're going to eat Shady Maple with us. They're going to go eat that Shady Maple with us. Vernon and Sue. By the way, Sue. Shady Maple's my favorite place on the planet. Shady Maple Buffet is awesome! We can't believe we're back here, and it's great. This is the entrance to Shady Maple Buffet, and it is here in, where is this located? An undisclosed location. It's an undisclosed location. <laughs> it is the world's greatest. It is actually the largest buffet in the United States. I, know, I want to go. Let's go, let's go eat. I gotta open the door. Oh, open the door for Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Al. You're welcome. This is the interior of Shady Maple. We're in line at the cashier's office, and this is where you pay, and then you go inside, way back in there, to the actual buffet. There's a huge line here tonight, and it's Monday night. And. You could go down these stairs and to the gift shop downstairs. What night is it at Shady Maple? Oh, oh it's steak night. It's steak night at yeah. Shady Maple. I like that. Yep. <laughs> okay, now so we have just paid. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Al just treated us to Shady Maple Smorgasbord. Yeah, this Thank is what you so much. looking for. It is. Look at this. This is some beautiful 3D artwork all the way down through here. Look at this artwork that is here in Shady Maple. This is all 3D, like sculpture painting. If you guys can get any kind of sense of scale, look how big this place is. I mean, it goes all the way down back through there. This is the like United States largest buffet. See, I told you they had an icy machine. It might not show up in the video, but that's an icy machine. I'm on video now. I'm not gonna be talking much from now on. You won't see much of me. So I'll either be busy eating or going back over here. And when I go back over here, it's like a flash. Let's go check out what's on the buffet here at Shady so Maple. Over here, you have all of your sauces. Any type of sauce that you could possibly want from Sweet Baby Ray's to pancake syrup. Your cocktail sauce, your even your yum yum sauce. Baked potatoes, mushrooms, onions. Ooh, steak night. It's steak night. It's steak night at the Shady Maple. Jeff is gonna be in heaven here. And this is the buffet. It goes all the way down that way. And it goes all the way down to the very end, all the way down there. And these little islands have food on them too. What'd you get? A Delmonico steak. Delmonico steak. Yes. Good job. You know, they had New York strip and Delmonico. They said the New York strip is juicy, Delmonico is tender. Let me see it. Tender steak, there we go. Okay, so here's where you get all of your drinks at this end down here. And this is like the very end of the dessert aisle. So you've got your cookies here. Okay, here's all of your desserts. Look at this. Chocolate mousse, fruit salad. We got pies, cakes, any type of pudding that you want. You've got ice cream. You've got cones for your ice cream. You've got your frozen ice cream cake. Shoe fly pies, chocolate cake, apple cake, pound cake. Then you've got vanilla peach crisp, roasted apples, apple crisp, cobbler, apple dumplings are here. That's Jeff's favorite. These are apple dumplings. Dumplings with an apple covered in caramel sauce. That's some really good stuff right there. So we're gonna start here 
and you can see that you can get in your fish you've got meatballs you've got sweet potatoes we've got fried chicken go to the next little table here you've got your fried shrimp and gravy mashed potatoes chicken tenders sauerkraut you've got a uh, roast beef turkey pork chops yams macaroni and cheese all your vegetables there we got corn and beans we've got broccoli we'll skip the broccoli on this one <laughs> go straight for the dessert and we have soups here and hush puppies and cheese sauce french fries let's skip all the way down here now this is what you want don't miss out on this side over here we have gourmet raspberry or gourmet apple bread this bread is to die for you can actually buy the loaves in the gift shop downstairs you can get regular rolls here's your cheese provolone munster hot pepper cheese this is a bread bar get your cornbread here you have everything you could ever want to put on a salad from tomatoes carrots cauliflower pickles cucumbers bread crumbs and then you have all of your fixings for the salad right here and you have uh, chicken wings we have sweet potato fries we have chili beans looks like we have baked limas with bacon harvard beets buttered noodles sweet potato bacon and green beans on this platform we've got corn fritters great you know good gravy brown gravy mashed potatoes there's the um, stuffing rice sauerkraut roast beef we got baked ham barbecue on this aisle we've got chicken we've got meatballs we've got chicken cordon bleu fried Hi. shrimp hey Hey, are you enjoying Shady Maple Smorgasbord? So far, so awesome. Good. This is the greatest place in the world to come and eat. And right here we've got some baked cod. And then you have the dessert aisle at the very end. We've got cookies right here. We've got strawberry rhubarb pie. Any type of pies you want. Cheesecake, pearl, tapioca, egg custard. Eclairs right here. Root beer floats. We have chocolate pudding fruit salad look at that any type of pie you could possibly want take a look at that blueberry pie up there and over in the corner we've got shoe fly pie apple dumpling soft serve ice cream ice cream cake pound cake apple cake shoe fly pie apple pie They're the apple dumplings are to die for by the way that's my husband's favorite apple crisp vanilla peach crisp and roasted apples take a look how long this thing goes the, the united states largest buffet right here at shady maple jeff is still loading up his plate right here he's got what are you getting there jeff that special bread i just showed you that special gourmet bread right there that's what he needs. He's got the Del Monaco steak, the specialty bread, mashed potatoes. I don't have time to talk. Oh, he's leaving. Okay, I'm going to load up my plate and meet him back at the table. Let's eat. Okay, tonight at Shady Maple Smorgasbord is steak night. Yeah. And who, what's your name? Jade. Jade, what's your name? Jaden. Jaden. I'm telling you, look at this steak. You are not going to want to miss out on this. And you can get cheese. These are hamburgers, right? And what is, you've got Delmonico steaks, New York strip, fresh cheeseburgers, and beef hot dogs, and pizza you can get here. There's the pizza over here. Yes. And look at this steak. Look what a good job they are doing, grilling it up for you personally, right here on the grill. And you'll fix it for however they want it. Yeah. Like if they want it medium or well. And some people do not want seasoning. Yeah. So we get them. Off the grill and we do no seasoning for that. No seasoning. Well, you can get it any way you like. Come to Shady Maple. All right, I'm going to get loaded up. I've got to get sit down and I've got to eat. Thank you guys. You're going to fix me up a steak right now. Yep. Let's do it.
Hey, here we are. We're stuffing ourselves. Jeff, how was your stay? I got time for I just want to say thank you for this experience. I may not have told you earlier, but Al was kind enough and gracious enough to let us go meet with some of his Amish friends and family. Not family, but you know, they're almost like family. They're family to me. You got anything to say? I don't have time for this. Are you okay, Jeff? Uh, I think I'm starting my sweat. It's when I eat too much meat, I start to sweat. That's or maybe I eat it too fast. I don't know. You've got the meat sweats. That's right. <laughs> okay, how did you like shaving? Oh, it's going to take me at least all day tomorrow to recover. <laughs> You're going to sleep good tonight. Yeah, I'm still sweating. Yes, but we have a second night at the Amish Beach Hotel. Well, thank goodness I've got that hot tub. <laughs> thank you. I'm going to need it. Thank you, Al. I'll tell you what, I'm just sore. My stomach's sore, my arms are You've sore. You've stretched all your skin out eating shaved no. maple. My legs are sore from running back and forth to the bar. <laughs> my arms are sore from shoveling food in my mouth. Man, it's, just, it's been a hard workout. This is the Shady Maple Smorgasbord here in... Subscribe. There you go. Yep. And we are going to take uh, Al back to his house and then we are going to spend our last night at the Amish View Inn and then we are going to head back home tomorrow morning. This has been a great experience. Thank you, Al, if you are watching, for treating us to this. We've got a couple of friends here with us who are fantastic. Thank you, Vernon. Thank you, Sue, who come along with us to Shady Maple. It made the experience so much more special. We really appreciate it. We love meeting you guys. That's it for tonight. That's it for Lancaster County. That's it for getting Mr. Al home. I'm, you're going to talk to him in just a second because he's got something to say. Okay, you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of this video because Al went to the dealership today. And if you watched the last videos, you know we came back from Alaska with him and his truck. He took it to the dealership and you will find out what the dealership said was wrong with his truck directly from Al. Okay, good morning. We are here with Al, and Al took his truck to the dealership. We know that you want to know exactly what happened with his truck. Al? Uh, I did take it to the dealership, and uh, they did say that it was probably, or that it, it's the CP4 pump, and they're looking for the cause of what made the CP4 pump fail. So that's where we're at with it right now. Uh, so we're hoping to have it done by the end of the week. Maybe. You know how that goes. Yeah. Well, right. it, what could have been the cause, Jeff, of a CP4 pump just going out for no reason? Air. Air. That's They told me air or possibly bad fuel or like water in the fuel or something of that nature. Well, even water, even water in the fuel. You know, yeah, that hurts those pumps, but air killed it. Air killed it. The air is one, and he asked me, one of the questions was asked is when was the, oil, the fuel filters changed? So that's what we're researching that, which So when you changed. got your fuel filters changed, there could have been a... We, they wasn't primed properly. Oh, prime. Right, the two main problems, the two main killers is improper installation of the fuel filters and not priming the fuel filters properly. And we all know that happens. Yeah, we're not perfect. Yep. All right, so this is it. This is the end. And this I is the thank end. Everybody that's and reached out. We are going to separate ourselves from Al after being with him for a week. A whole over, over a week. Whole oh no! Week. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm losing my man service. <laughs> <laughs> he is free and clear of any debt that he owes to us and whatnot. <laughs> So um, we are going to let relieved. him go. Um, he has been treated us like gold. So we are very mm -hmm. thankful and for I'm, everything you did for well, us to get us on the way back. And yeah, so home. I've released Al from all his duties and responsibilities. He's clear. And I want to I want to thank Jeff and Cheryl for stepping out like they did. This is nothing. something that I can never repay 
I, I just can't. Hey. Words don't describe. You no, know, I would like to thank any of you guys would have done the same thing. Yeah, if we're ever in trouble. Ever in trouble. You know, we're a big family out here, so yeah, but, we watch each other's back. Now I'm going to have to start saying goodbye because my arm's getting real tired. Oh, I'm holding the All phone. Right. <laughs> All right. If Again, you like this you. video, please press the, the like, like button. button. And uh, comment down below. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, and that's it for us, Transport Bandits. Out. out.